the list here, of which Miranda is the centerpiece. Uh, now, the builds on the other guys are interesting. So we've got Fen, uh, adaptability to up to 10 in the Shivapede. He's got a Tactician, so he can throw some stress. And he has the Flight Assist Astromech. So he'll be repositioning with that Flight Assist uh, when no one's in his arc. And he has the Tactician to throw stress at range 2. Uh, and he has Lorik. And it's a slim Lorik with Draw Their Fire and Wookiee Commandos. So Draw Their Fire allows them to pull crits off allies in range one. And the Wookiee Commandos allows them to reroll eyeballs on attack. And the centerpiece of the list is Miranda. Uh, she's got TLT. Uh, she's got the Bomblet. She's got C-3PO for defense. Uh, and she has two rounds of Harpoon missiles uh, by having extra munitions. And she has the all-important guidance chips to make those shots count. Right. And uh, so we know from the last match, uh, jean has got the low rick with Draw Their Fire, Tactician, and Ray. Um, Ezra with the Elusiveness, Inspiring Recruit, R3A2. Uh, Captain Rex, just Captain Rex, good ability. Naked Rex. Is and then Rex. Uh, Heftober in the U-Wing with a Sensor Jammer, Jin Erso. Uh, Zeb and the pivot wing title. I love that build with Zeb there. Yeah, so he just flies it into things and is like, oh, P.S., I still get to shoot you. You yeah. get to shoot me, but I don't mind. But and I get actions. We saw that sensor jammer do a ton of work in the last game. Um, and the elusiveness on Ezra did a lot of work as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's... It's a tanky list, and you know your target priority is a little screwed up because Rex is throwing down that condition token all the time. Yep. Well, it looks like Hef with the sensor jammer will be a great piece versus both Lorik and Miranda uh, because Lorik won't be able to. Uh, so if a hit is changed to an eyeball and it cannot be rerolled, it nerfs those Wookies. Yes, absolutely. And then <clears throat> against Miranda, you know, she's got a focus token to shoot with her TLT, but not two. It only works once. Yeah. Now, the only problem, though, is is he going to be able to keep Ark with these ships on Miranda, or is she just going to fly around, try to TLT them to death? Well, that she's flying with Lorik and Finn suggests that he's going for a, a, he'll he'll Keeps want to do a joust, a but he may well break Miranda away at some point. Yeah. I mean, he's got to worry about low Rick's 180 arc. Um, Ezra's rear arc. Yeah. yeah. Um, have you been able to see any of Jeremy's games this weekend? Or? I have not. No. no. Yeah. Me neither. Yeah, so that harpoon missile on Miranda is really nasty when he lands it. So I can see why we'd want to joust. Oh, yeah, so he's set up on the other side. So that'll involve them traveling through the rocks. So how did uh, Jean Collier's uh, first game go? Um, so he was up against a kind of weird list because there was a PALP shuttle that had an engine upgrade. Mm -hmm. wow. And uh, there was a Sunterfell. And... Uh, what was the, I don't even remember what. Uh, quick draw, right? Was it quick draw? Yes, yeah. it was quick draw. Mm -hmm. um, so they went in there and like, nobody could hit any of the big ships with their like, very few evade dice, but quick draw went down really, really fast. And then the Palp shuttle didn't have, you know, arc, because they, they jousted it out. Right. He went with that shuttle, they went right in for it. Didn't try to stop and hold or anything. So, and then the end of the game was 20 minutes of Sunterfell running away, essentially. So we, we were talking about it because we said, you know, his MOV is going to be really important. He wants to kill that Sunterfell. And he didn't, but as we see, he still managed to sneak his way into this top cut. So well, good for him. He's a JJ squadron from south of Montreal, right? Yeah, that's correct. Awesome. It's great to see some Moyale here who represent me. That's fantastic. Yes. I don't know if anybody saw the standings posted. I know they've been posted all over the internet, but uh, six out of eight of the top eight are Canadians. So we are working real hard to defend this title against the Howards. Against the Howards, yes. <laughs> the Americans are Howards. All right. So yeah, both of them want to keep their formations by the looks of it. 
Ezra's a very strong piece for Jean in this matchup. He's got, he'll be hard to hit consistently. And that R3, A2 uh, is going to slow down uh, Jeremy's positioning. Yeah. Jeremy's going to have to be careful to be, to have, to have his ships in places where he can one bank and clear stress with them. Or, or two bank in uh, Fen Rao's case. Right. Um, so we, he's also got the low rick with tactician. So that's even another piece that's throwing out stress. So although the low rick on the other side, on Jeremy's side, has the Wookiee commandos. So he still is able to modify his attacks, which is really good for him because he wants to be able to throw out as much damage every turn as possible. Yeah. I think it will be strong strategy for Jeremy to try to blow past Hef. Um, because Hef's not going to be able to turn around real fast. Yeah, so a lot for Jean will depend upon uh, getting Hef in there, in between uh, Jeremy's list and his important guys. So, oh, oh still going straight. straight. Not too very committal. That's a good plan. Who's going to be the first to turn in? <laughs> It's a game of chicken here, I think. Yeah, I really love watching uh, Rebel lists like this, like both of these. It should be an exciting match. It's not, you know, Nim Miranda against Nim Miranda or something. Yeah. No offense to Nim Miranda players out there. It's a very viable list. Uh, I'm happy to offend them. <laughs> um, That's why you're here. And I'm the good cop. You can be the bad cop. <laughs> One of the things I like about lists like this is positioning counts uh, for all these guys. Like the actual maneuver uh, is what's going to determine yeah, how it goes. It's sort of the opposite of uh, Impace's lists, where maneuvering also matters. Maneuvering is, yeah. But here it matters because th there's no repositioning. Well, well, Rex, I guess. Yeah, Fenn's got the flight assist. Yep. And, yeah. So... Jeremy may well be racing up to the top of the board or across. How do we say that? The other end of the board. <laughs> the top from him. Yeah, the northeast. <laughs> <laughs> and two bank for Miranda. If he slams here, that's probably his plan. He's not slamming. Uh, thanks for an A. I'll, I'll try to keep it louder. Yeah, we can. We can awesome. That. How's that? Is you that too loud? Super hot at the beginning. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can't keep a consistent level away from the mic. That's right. I ain't consistent <laughs> in X-wing or in. <laughs> hey, team. you you made the cut to today, so that's pretty good. Yeah, well, proud I, of you. I made the second day. That's not the cut, but. Well, okay. thanks. We won't call it a cut, but you made it to today. Oh, Miranda's so turning in. Yeah. All right. So that means Jeremy is turning in. He is signaling his intent with that slam maneuver. Miranda is coming in. And her boys will be too. All right. So. How does Jean deal? I don't know. Uh, I think, I mean, Miranda's going to be a pain if he doesn't get rid of her real fast. Because, you know, she's a regen, a natural built-in regen, which in the end game, you know, mm -hmm. I've lost if it's just me and Miranda. Mm -hmm. And as of right now, it looks like, he's going to have the best chances of getting Miranda because he can see which way she's playing. And although she's very tricky with her slams and everything, but she's got those harpoons, so you know she wants to kind of joust you a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, if what Jeremy is doing here is a feint. Which it very well might be. He curves the other two guys around slow and puts forward Miranda far enough forward to slam her back around. Yeah, uh, and then these guys are maybe chasing Miranda, trying to take the bait. 
the other squad comes up behind him. My feeling here is Jean's going to be cautious. He's, he's going to see through that. They're both very, very good players. There's a reason they've made this top cut out of, what, 130 people this weekend? Right Something on. like that? Yeah. It's been a long weekend of X-Wing, some really, really great games. So he goes with the two. Turning in. And I'm interested to see how he maintains this, uh, this convoy through in its twists and turns. Yes. In the last game, we saw him do a lot of intentional bumps to get, you know, blocks and arcs. Mm -hmm. So I don't think he's going to be afraid to do that, um, especially with, you know, Ezra's natural built-in ability. He doesn't mind if he doesn't get an action. Yep. Is he coordinating a focus here? Yep. So he coordinates a focus to Lorik. He wants to load the guy up. Okay, so we can also see that Jean has the initiative. Is there a bid on Jeremy's side? No, there is not. So they're both built to 100? Looks like it. Yes, they are. And Jean's low rick is worth more than Jeremy's low rick. Then is worth 23, which is more than Ezra is worth. Interesting. Right. Having your points spread out between those four ships, though, is nice because that's, you know, extra damage you have to output in order to get some points. You're telling me. And if you have a four ship like that and somebody gets really badly winged but it's not yet dead and, you know, there's not much game left and you can book it. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. It's pretty good. So he's going wide. A little wide. I think he's thinking about his flight assist here. Yep. Okay, not that wide. So he's set up for a turn from Lorik and a bank from Fen next turn. Does he have like extra mods on his, his Fen? What the heck is happening there? Yeah, there's like some guns on there. It looks kind of like an E wing a little bit. Mm hmm. Jeremy's going for the early shot on Hef. You know what? The rest of that squad is out of range, so that's that's nice. That's a nice shot for him. It's not bad. I mean, Hef's got, uh, Hef's got a focus token, and he'll have the reinforce from Lorik. Right. So if he gets real lucky, it's one or two damage. Looks like he's going to spend that harpoon. Yep. Sensor jam. Sensor jammer. Jeremy's thinking about the token expenditure. All right, so now he's got to spend that thing for five. Yeah, that's, so that's what you want to see. we're looking at at least three here. So that's is that an evade up there. Yep, we got low Rick in. Spend low Ricks. Nice formation on Jean's part, keeping low Rick in. That was nice. So that'll be, what, three shields? Yep. So that could have gone a bit better for Jean. But he is going to have a shot on a Miranda With at range no tokens. three. Who's tokenless? Got three PO though. Oh, and she's already down a shield, of course, because she just spent one. Oh, yes. So she'll have two dice here. And oh, I need three POs. So it takes one damage. Right. Yeah, down two shields total. Yeah. So Miranda's down two. F is down three. I guess John could have hoped for a slightly better exchange there, but not by much. Well, not, not if the harpoon missile is spent. That's not a bad exchange if the harpoon missile. Well, there's another harpoon because there's extra munitions. Yep. And Miranda can easily get those two shields she just lost back. She can fly away from this fight and shoot some TLTs from behind even. Mm -hmm. And TLTs, of course, will trigger the harpoon condition when they roll crits. Right, which is it's good, yeah. Okay, thank you. All right. So, apparently we can be heard, so we're going to have to lean in a bit here. Try not to our get apologies. too excited and start raising our voices. Use our radio voices.
It's probably just the acoustics in the room, unfortunately. Yeah, it's now a lot emptier than it was this morning. Yeah. We've been emptied. Also, everyone's being very, very quiet after this. Yes, right. it's intense and very serious in here. All right. I hope we just didn't give them a whole pile of tactical considerations. They I don't think we of. really did. I think they're both but smarter than us at X-Wing. All right. So. They're like, uh, these people don't know what. And they're like, oh, tell my opponent the wrong thing, <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. So, Hef is in a rough position. Yeah, there's that rock right in front of him, right? Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to turn his arc too far either way because it's going to take him a while to come back around depending on where Jeremy puts his ships. Oh, he's going for a big, big bank. Yep. It was either that or the stall, I think. Yeah. And the stall might have screwed up all of the rest of his team's movements. Yeah. This sets him up for a uh, two-turn to the, the left next round, which is not bad. It's a chance of getting back in there. Uh, people are saying Miranda spent the lock. Right. That's true. She did spend that lock. We are, we're still on the we're not going to correct. We are not supposed okay. to be correcting anything. Policy. All right. Yeah. We're, we're allowed to notify a judge of things. But of course. Only if it's particularly egregious. This is basically that peanut gallery rule is, you know, if you notice something, you're not supposed to say it if you're not in the game. Yeah. So this is a pretty daring play. Um he wants to go for part. Yeah. I don't think he's going to have a shot this round. No, I don't think so either. Might block something, maybe? Probably not. I mean, if Miranda did uh, two-turn to the right, I mean, that's game. Hoping to maybe run away. Yeah. Oh, Jeremy probably saw right through that, though. I don't think he'd do that. I think he was... I don't think I'll have a three-bank for Miranda to the left. We only got a one-bank from Lorick. Right, so that's... Not rushing in too fast over mm -hmm. here. Well, that's the thing. When you're flying low, Rick, you want to not put yourself in a position where your opponent can get on your six because they can stay there once they're there. Um, so you want to take the joust usually pretty slow. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I have the table mic, and there's a little kid at the table who says, I like this game. <laughs> <laughs> you feel that now, kid. What do you get down in the salt mines? <laughs> These two guys here are probably super serious over there, trying to play the most intense game of tiny plastic spaceships they can. Yep. So Miranda's pulled out. She didn't drop a bomb. I guess he decided it wasn't wouldn't hit half for her. It would have hit herself. That's why. <laughs> no, it wouldn't have hit her. It wouldn't have hit half either. Okay. <coughs> so to, to whom did Ezra coordinate in action? Um, it looks like Lorik has two tokens on him. But he's got Ray. Oh, you're right. And he loaded that at the top of the combat phase. Um, so oh, there's a token on Hef. It, would that have been the... That was Hef's own focus. Oh, right. He didn't bump anything. Huh. Presumably, Fen took a focus, so we can't see it. We need to pay better attention. Now, this isn't a hot cop, Poe. Oh, he's going to stress our boy, Hef. So, it's on crit. Well, you want to dodge this. Oh, no, draw their fire. You don't care. <laughs> So 
so he takes the stress from Tactician. That's right. We have range one from Miranda. Possibility on Hef. Fen coordinated to evade Rex. Right, because Rex did a barrel roll out of the way oh, of that I rock. See. Okay. Yes, thank right. you, chat. Thank you. Everybody who said it, there's like five of you. And that's unlucky. Regen to shield. Right. Oh, she's sh shooting someone to regen. Who's he attacking? Three dice. One evade. One evade. This token. is Rex. Rex. Yep. Right on. So I guess he didn't want to do the range one and spend another shield. So he wanted to regen action. We've got we've got Lorec outside of range two on Miranda. So Miranda will have the bomblet opportunity in the oh next yeah. round. Oh, you're right. I already forgot about the bomblet. Okay, so that's two hits from Lorik on whomever. And do we know who is on? Shooting Miranda? That nope. is not Miranda that he's Future playing. Yeah. So he's spending the low rick to take a shield from Miranda. So it was on Miranda. It was on Miranda. Oh, well? Yep. If he was going to... So he's sticking on Miranda. You got to with that regen ability. Oof. That's sweet. Yep. And that's, that's sweet. That's sweet, too. <laughs> is that a focus token on Miranda? Is that what that is? Yeah, I think that's a target lock of some sort. I may right. I don't know. These third party token are those third party yeah. It's hard to keep track of them. I think that's something Jeremy's using to remember something. Um, did he use three PO at some point? Oh yeah. That's yes, probably right. a three PO token. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, Paul Heaver confirms that. <laughs> oh, Paul Heaver's here. Hey, dude. Someone asked if he was here in Canada. No. And we got Rex shooting on low Rick. Something happened. We don't know what. The dive went off the table. Oh, no. It's on Miranda. Thinking about something over here. So lost his shield. So Miranda's on one shield, and she is suppressed. Focus has come off. Okay. More planning. So this is the situation that Jean had to fear, doing that two-turn last round, or two rounds ago. No, oh, sorry, it was last turn. Uh, he's going to have to break around the rock. Yes. And if he sends Hef if he does the hard two with Hef and he does the three bank with Rex they both enjoy bomblets he must see that coming so yeah. is there what can he do to even avoid that well there's no Sabine so you know he could get lucky sometimes it's the right choice when there's no Sabine there yeah you no you're right just suck it up hope to get lucky um and see what happens. Miranda's limited to one banks and two straights. So her boys must go forward. And they're in a pretty good position to just do that. They don't have any rocks directly in front of them. Yeah, but they can't be near that bomblet. So I expect a bank to the left. Maybe he wants to get in fan. there and take shots and doesn't even do the bomblet. Yep. Guess it's what he figures is going to get him the most damage. Yeah, I think putting Fen in a kill box, though, would be a bad idea. Lorik must turn. Wow, voices are really carrying in here now. <laughs> Hopefully ours aren't. I think we're being quiet enough. Nobody's come to yell at us again. Yeah. 
although we, we tend to get excited when something exciting happens and our volume rises quicker and quicker. I mean, in theory, Jean could just disengage with Hef, but like it would be so long before he came back. Yeah. I think it's better to suffer the bomblet, the risk of the bomblet. Yeah, there's, uh, it's already taken some damage. I mean, I'm pretty sure Hef is there to be a bit of a blocker. So if he can throw in some good blocks, mm -hmm. it's worth it. We'll have to see what he decides to do. He obviously knows his list a lot better than we do. Mm -hmm. I actually did test a um, a U-wing list. Of All right. Of so thing. you might know this better than I do, for sure. I went, oh, this is terrible. I'm not flying this. <laughs> <laughs> but John has made it work. So Yeah, I mean, he's he made it to the top eight, which is incredible. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he's going with the two bank, which has the advantage of clearing his stress. Um. That's good. Taking it slow to come back into the battle. And Rex is disengaging. Is that going to put them out of bomblet range? I don't think so. Not half. But oh, he might take a barrel roll here if yep. he needs to. Yeah, here comes the barrel roll. Well, since Rex is the only one whom Miranda is not nerfed against, uh, if he takes TLT fire, uh, that's going to hurt. Yeah, I mean, three green dice are nice, but when you don't have a token, they can fail you pretty hard. We've got a daring two bank coming from Ezra. Coordinates the reinforce to Lorik. Lorik may be punching through the rock. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the coordinate is really sweet. That's, yeah, it's so good. It's really it gives you a lot of freedom. Yeah, it's a really fun option for rebels. It really helps them with these kinds of lists. Because, yeah, with these jousty lists, sometimes you do just want to fly right through rocks if you need to. Absolutely. And while. Uh, reinforce on Lorik is probably just going to end up being one of a result for somebody. It's uh, still good. You know, it's it plays with your opponent's head pretty considerably. Okay. Right. Target priority gets screwed again. So, either Jeremy is going to bomblet himself, or he's not going to do it. Uh, I mean, Lorik's got a lot of health. Mm -hmm. Could take it. D I guess it depends how many other ships Jeremy thinks he's going to be able to hit because yeah I don't know we'll see all right so we called the three bank from Fen the question is will Fen bump Ezra or is he going to get stressed this is going to be a oh no there's no snapshot pardon me pardon me pardon me so many builds out there right now yeah. for the, those sheathapedes. All right, so this is not so bad. Uh, if it does, in fact, leave him. A uh, bump would be sweet for Jeremy here. He goes. <laughs> How many ships can we proxy at once? It's the octopus. <laughs> this is X-Wing. This is how you really play X-Wing. None of this two-ship list stuff where you can just move around freely. Okay, so that appears to be clear. Of Ezra, so it's going to bump into Lorik's yes. butt. Or that is Jeremy's Lorik's butt. <laughs> this is messy. This, this is a uh, rebel small ship list. For you. Looks like we've got a judge over there ready to jump in. Now, hopefully, that doesn't interfere with Miranda's move. True. I think bombletting herself would be. Might um, not be the best move. No. <laughs> <laughs> he says, Where did he land? Enjoy. 
Who said that? Jeremy. Oh, okay. He's like, this is the judge's problem now. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> That's why oh we got judges. Oh, my. Pen isn't moving at all. Or he's moving the minutest amount forward. <laughs> Get that train track in there. There it is. It's surgery, <laughs> baby. Wow, what a move. And are we just going to leave that template in there or what? Looks like it. Sometimes it's best just to leave it alone. Well, this is the fun part of a, a, a rebel small ship list like this, multi-ship list versus another one, when you all start ramming into each other and everybody's plans go to hell. Yeah, there are no plans when you're both trying to joust each other. Now, what did Miranda do? So, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, looks like we are getting the bomblet in here. So she must have done it too straight. Wait a minute, did they do them out of order? Why did Fenn move before Miranda? Is the adaptability down? Oh, maybe he adaptability down so that they're at the same pilot skill. Because uh, Jean has nothing that would overlap with an eight, right? Yeah. So and that gives him freedom of movement as well as shooting, which can be really, really handy. Mm -hmm. I love playing lists that everybody's the same PS. Oh, absolutely. So a lot is going to ride on the dice variants of this bomblet. Yeah, I mean, this could be huge. And it looks like Miranda is out of range of Rex, but still in range of uh, Jean's Lorik. Yeah, Miranda could also shoot at Ezra. Uh, maybe Miranda is in range of Rex. It's hard to tell till we see a ruler on the table. Checking that bomblet. All right, looks like he bombleted himself quite a bit. Oh, nothing. Yep. Fen gets lucky. Fen's all right. Imagine that was low Rick. <laughs> oh, wow. Jeremy's own that was yeah. He's like, oh, I know my dice. I'll be fine. We got an eyeball and oh. a damage going through on half, so one's not bad. <laughs> uh, and uh, one on low Jean's Rick. low Rick takes one. Yep. So, you know. That was a lot of ships. I just took that bomblet. Jean really could have hoped for something else, given that it was exactly the same odds for everybody. And Jeremy got two. really lucky. That yeah, could have that could have turned around on him big time. The remaining remaining big question here is does Ezra have Arc on Miranda? It looks like he doesn't from where we're sitting. It's it's close. It's close though. So she's double stressed. Alright. <laughs> so they've gone they've done the top of the combat phase thing because a focus token is on Lorik. On Jean's Lorik. So now they're shooting. Yep. So this is Miranda rolling two dice. To regen a shield. Or she's shooting a target other than Lorik. Sheesh, two. Sensor jammer. Oh, she's shooting. She's shooting half. So it's the first one. Not sure why Ezra just took a stress. Oh. Oh, it's because uh, Fen's shooting at Ezra, and Fen has tactician, I think. It's range two, right? Yep. Right. Good call. See, I'm I'm smart. Oh, 
Wrong die. So he's got one evade. So half is unharmed. And we have one. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this can get confusing sometimes. So we just saw Jean take no damage. And now it will be, looks like, I don't know. I'm getting a judge call. What's happening here? Looks like Miranda is in arc. It's deciding about the R3A2. Okay, Jeremy wants confirmation. There's nothing wrong with that. No, in a game like this, you want to double check everything. The judges make the ruling at the table. Now that looks super in. Yeah, there's a lot of it there. So it looks like he is using the R3A2. Yep. We've got a one shield Miranda over there. Or maybe she's at two now. Okay, anyway, that doesn't matter. <laughs> Low rec, same target. And focus for three. Bunch of eyeballs. No, nothing wrong with that when you got to focus. Miranda is double stressed. And pointing in the opposite direction from Low rec. Ah, uh, yes, the tactician. So two damage for Miranda drops to one with So she is back down to one shield. Yep. Oh yeah. Seems to be one shield. Okay. We had that wrong. Well, she regens, which is hard to keep track of. Yep. We're not fast enough all the time. Mm hmm But we can see the cards, so So Lorick is going on a focused up hef. Hmm. That's not very optimal. Yeah. I wonder why not one of the other two ships right in front of him. Uh, I think they're at full health. Right. And Trying to kill something. If you can land a crit on Hef. Right. It could ruin Hef's game. Yeah. And bring him down to two hull. It's four dice, so he's shooting one of the dudes in front of him. Ezra's, well, Ezra's stressed. Lorik has his uh, reinforce. Yeah, neither of them are super optimal target. So somebody on uh, chat is saying next turn, half can two turn and chase Miranda. Yep, he will take another bomblet if he does that, however. I wonder what the position of his pivot wing is in. All right, so we've got three. Three hits. So that must have been Lorik. Yep. Lorik is now, I can't tell. Two sure shields kill. down. Two shields down. Well, two more shields. Looks like Hef still has a shield, right? Hef does? Uh, oh, no, no, never mind. No. no. That's, uh, All right, so we're back to dials. We've got Miranda with one shield. Um, and Jeremy's other two guys at full health. And we have, from what we can tell, a shieldless F. <laughs> Lorik either has one or no shields. It's difficult to tell. Can we move the chat box for a second, Chops? That's just that one shield. Uh, oh, we're we're talking about Lorik. Oh, zero. Yeah, I think he's down to zero. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Just two. So the headway is being made here. Uh, by Jeremy. Jean got that double stress on Miranda, which is really nice for him. He's probably very excited to have been able to pull that off. Well, speaking as someone who is playing a very similar list with a stress throwing Ezra and a stress throwing Lorik, that's good, but you need to capitalize. And he's got that debris sitting right in front of him between him and Miranda. Yeah. And straight maneuvers will get him a bomblet. Right. Yeah, that bomblet really does it helps Miranda a lot. So I think here if Jean can keep Ezra on Miranda, that is, keep her in arc, then he can keep her stressed for a while, regardless of what else happens.
So Emperor Canaries says four straight Jean's low. Do we think Rex is going to be turning to try to come back in or K turn and then take another turn to come back in? Because he's, he's pointing in the wrong way. Uh, yeah, he's got to come back. Uh, I think if I were him, I'd probably 4K. Yeah, I think you're right. And hope uh, that uh, Jeremy's low rec did not three bank to chase me. But you know what? I think Jeremy's low rec is going to... Well, does low rec want to chase down half and try and finish him? Yeah. I mean, Lorik's a poor choice for trying to bring down uh, Hef because of that sensor jammer. Yes, it right. It will mess with the Wookiees something fierce. Hef oh. is invincible, says Right, because he can't re-roll with Wookiee commandos the sensor jammed. Yes. So what will happen is on your average roll, you'll get one hit, one eyeball. Right. And the hit will convert to an unrerollable eyeball. And you reroll the other one. Eyeball, and, and you know, it's 50% chance, so that's not that great. And then well, Hef has two green dice. I mean, depending where he ends up, might not have anyone shooting at him. Maybe doesn't need the reinforce. I guess we'll see. Yep. Uh, Oil 186, Oli 186 says, with Miranda support, yeah. I mean, if Miranda and Lorik are both plinking A damage into Hef, then he's not long for the world. And that may be Jeremy's optimal move here, and his fan gets to do something as well. Okay, so we have the two turn from Hef. Is Not he, surprising. Is he clear of the dead breeze? Oh, yes. yeah, by a lot. Tons of space. So he chucks a focus on the table rapidly. <laughs> we got the 4K for the TIE Fighter. Ezra's going right through that debris. Yeah. Miranda cannot escape that arc. And he and and Ezra might escape the uh, the, the, the 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 bomblet there. Uh, no, I don't think so. Woo, there he goes. All in, baby. Here we go, more finicky X-Wing in here. I don't think that's going to clear, do you? I think, I think so. they already measured it, they know it's going to clear. Oh, yeah. okay. We usually eyeball it first. And yeah. The eyeball, once you've been playing for a while, tells you. It looked really, really close. Whether or not, I mean, you like hold the template over the stuff and then you get yeah. a pretty good idea. And then if you have to, you get all finicky with the stuff. All right. No damage from that. So he's looking for hot natties from Lorik on Miranda. Hey, it could happen. It could happen. <coughs> we have the hard turn from Lorik, which still keeps Rex in range. So maybe we won't be seeing the bomblet this round. I mean, he Fen did it wants last round. Yeah, true. Fen wants that rear arc shot onto Hef, I guess. So we have just a hard two for Miranda. So she's being daring, but I think that may be disaster for her. That could be a problem. We'll have to ski. Oh, focus loaded onto Lorik from Ray, so that's huge. Yes, where is that Ray card over there? Looks like he doesn't have any more stacked. No. no, I think he's had one that he's continued to bring up. And just not for an spent. important turn. Well, he's, he's just not ended up spending it. He's had no eyeball results. So here's Miranda. <laughs> or maybe it's... I'll stop calling it. It could be. I, I wish he'd pointed <laughs> to ships. So we have... It's like he's never played on a stream before. One and somebody with one green die. Who the heck is that? Low Rick, maybe? Yeah, unless, uh, unless, uh, 
Woohoo, John uh, unadvisedly flipped Hef's thing. Nope, it's a hit on Rorik. Yep. And blanks out. So that was the first shot was Miranda, and the second one there was Fen. No, that was her TLT. Oh, right? that was her TLT. Yes, yep. you're right. That and one's there's Fen. There's That's a much better roll for wow. that. Um, so we get one defense. Did he forget to sensor jammer there? He did. Ugh. Oh. And a crit. Crit triggers the harpoon. See that? Hopefully uh, they said it out loud. When a tractor beam fails to make a sign, you can move the ship one forward, one in It was a weapons failure. That's huge. Yep. But not the worst. So we have... That must be the low rick shot. Miranda gets the evade. So one hull down for Miranda. She's taking a third stress. She's never going to get unstressed at this rate. Nope. Which is huge. It is. Uh, but uh, Jean's going to have enough ships left. Right, yes. To take her out. All right. And now we have the Ezra shot on Miranda with one crit. And she gets the one of age she needs. That staves off disaster. And uh, now we have Jeremy's low rick shooting at Hef. This could be it for Hef. Yes, it could. I just have to worry about sensor jammers because he went and got himself a focus. That die is cocked. We have two. All right, let's see what Hef can do. He's I got see one, one of aid, aid. so he's living. So Hef is on one hull. He's only got three dice on this shot, a Miranda. Yeah. He was hoping to get more damage through here. That's pretty nice. Hit crit. Oh. Oh, that Miranda, man. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy's green dice have been helping him. Oh, that was a crit, though. What was yeah, that crit? Weapons failure as well? That would be hilarious. I think we're about to find out. With Rex still on the tip. That's oh, loose stabilizer. Loose stabilizer. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's just funny. Um, <laughs> Miranda is stress dumped. Still actually has three hull, not two. No, she's two in. Yeah, that's what. I'll go confirm. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I yeah, said, yeah, but yeah. the opposite yeah. way. Yeah, your words have meaning, same <laughs> as mine. Oh, someone in the chat said, "Did we forget yes. Rex?" I think we did, or they did. Yeah, he had a shot on low Rick, which actually could have been huge for the upcoming round. Missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. It's so hard to, uh, like, this it can get so <coughs> stressful. It's easy to watch from here and be like, oh, how do you miss that? But when mm -hmm. you're at that table, you're, after all the dice that were just rolled, it's so easy to forget. Yep. Oh, now somebody's saying they measured and was out. I don't know. So, Lorik's going to be tempted to hard turn because he still has a focus. Sorry, Jean's low rig is going to be tempted to hard turn because he still has that focus on Ray. And Ezra is also going to be tempted to fly into the bomblet region. Um, Miranda can't really do anything better than a two bank, I think. Three bank has so little curve to it that yes. she might take she might take her off the she board. Could be, I would not risk it if that yeah. was me flying that Miranda... Fen can continue to show his butt arc here, and Lorik is likely to kill Hef before Hef can do any damn thing. I mean, what Jeremy's got to be trying to do here is is bring his Lorik back around to his Miranda so she can tank uh, the remainder of the fire from Jean's ships. Yeah, she needs some help up there. That said, there's not a lot of firepower left on, on, on Jean's side once uh, once uh, Hef is PS killed. Yep, yep that's right. Hef, well, even if he's not killed, his arc is not facing the right way to be shooting anything this round, probably. Even if he didn't die. Yep. I don't know. I mean, 
mean, <laughs> I, I might just hard turn half here into, I mean, he's got one hull, so likely Bomblet takes him out if he goes forward, so I would hard turn towards Miranda, try to get his least distance out of the move as possible. Right. Of course, if he clears Miranda, he's, he's dead instantly. Nah, maybe he would be. Nah, he would be. <laughs> yes, no, yes, no. Just have him there for blocking purposes on Miranda. <coughs> so she can't hard to away from the board edge. Or get the full hard to out. So Emperor, oh, man, there's so much action in the chat. I can't. Yeah, read look a how full many sentence. people are watching right no, no, now. There's also all the YouTube viewers. Right. So, sorry. So we've got a lot of people watching us right now. So that number is just Twitch. But That's then just Twitch. Yeah. Wow. There's another 200 on YouTube. Wow. So we've almost cracked your. We did. Nice. Thanks everyone for watching. Almost 600 viewers here. So half banks one. I don't see any reason in the world for Miranda not to use the bomblet. Yeah, I mean, if you can kill that Hef with a bomblet, why not? And her other ships on her team are not anywhere near there. Good to go. <coughs> yep. Here comes Rex. Rejoining the fight. Man, if only he'd noticed the shot and reduced. Yeah, you know what? That, that could have made a big difference. Yeah. So we've got Lorik carefully cleaning his, uh, cleaning his stress. Clearing his stress. <laughs> Get that stress out of my hair. It's my Wookiee noise. Yeah, sorry about the low speaking commentary, but... Uh, Jeremy sent someone over to say he could hear us. <laughs> yeah, uh, people are are hearing us. Oh, that's a nice move from Ezra. Yes, very. He won't have Miranda in arc, but that no longer matters for the purposes of stress throwing since since Miranda is the stress queen now. Yeah. It's going to take her quite a while to get rid of that. <coughs> so that was the roll for the debris. Look good. Now we've got whoo, full speed Lorik. That's a good call, though. <laughs> Thinking about his action. Oh, going yep. for a focus. He's yep. going to kill half. There's no two ways about it. Yeah, he's not letting half get out of this. And we've got more display of the butt arc from Finn. And Miranda will, regardless which bank she chose, be clear. Dropping that bomblet. Yeah. yeah. That's going to hit two ships. I fear the bomblet may actually be Jean's end here. <coughs> I mean, over time. Yeah, no. It's for the sure. thing that's getting him. Slow and steady damage over and over. Mm -hmm. It's like we were saying, those ships, they're, they are where they are. They don't have a lot of post-move maneuverability, right? Yeah. So... Um, Bomblet is one of the cards that I think should just be struck the heck out of the game. It shouldn't exist. So one that's hit for one somebody. <coughs> All right, that's Hef. Hef is gone to a Bomblet. Pardon me. Here comes the Ezra. This is top oh, eight. Oh, two on Ezra. Brutal. Oh, man, this is really rough for Jean. It is. That was a really good Bomblet for Miranda. Here comes Lorik. Oh, my God. Bomblet is doing all the work here. Two more on Lorik. Oh, the Bomblet actually does deal crits as crits? It does, and I think nice. it's blinded. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, unfortunately, that, that's Jean, probably that game over. that hurts a lot. That was such a good Bomblet for Miranda. Yeah. She doesn't even care that she's flying around with five stress on her. Yep. Completely vulnerable and helpless uh, when she has Bomblet. She's still. She's got the so many tricks, right? She's got that TLT for 
flying around the edge. She's got the harpoons if she wants to joust. She's got the bomblet if she just wants to fly around and drop it on people's faces. Don't get me wrong. I, I love reveal bombs in Miranda. I think yes. they're a cool and interesting piece You've of strategy. You've always been a bomber. But, like, infinite bombs is just dumb. Shouldn't be in the game. <laughs> little broken. Yep. We got no shot for Fen. Oh, he may have a shot on Rex. Well, Don't forget I, Rex. Yeah, this is fine. Rex can solo Jeremy's list. <laughs> Best tie fighter in the game. Yep. I mean, some people would argue that Hellrunner is, but, you know. Oh, well, that's two hits. And we got two hits. All right, Rex, what can you do? Oh, I see a lot of eyeballs. God. Oh, my God, he's taking a crit. Okay. Dice Variance is carrying Jean to his grave. <sighs> That's Ouch. sad. I'm not hearing what he said. Oh, okay. Uh, it's something with very little text. I think it's this one. Okay, that looks like something very simple. I'll go look once this round is resolved. Damage Dungeon? Yeah, the, makes yeah sense. Damage Dungeon. So, uh, did Rex shoot at Miranda there, or is he preparing to, and they're just putting the token down? I think some dice are currently being shaken. Mm -hmm. well, that's three dice for somebody. Oh, it's from Jeremy's hand. So, so we this would be hello, Rick. Yes, so. Low Rick on low Rick action. Oh, no, those were the Miranda oh, shots. Oh, yeah, that was Miranda's TLT. So she's back up to one shield, so she's got three hull and shield. These regen oh. ships make our lives difficult on the stream. Yeah, <laughs> they do. And so this is Ezra and Lorik. And Lorik takes the shield. Why not spend the focus? Didn't he already shoot? No, he hasn't shot yet. Never mind. Uh, I can't see Jeremy's whole body, but what I can see on the stream does indicate that his mood has improved considerably since two rounds ago. <laughs> He's a little wriggly, a little joyfully wriggly. We got him to come out and be on the stream for us, though. We did. We were so charming. Measuring this again. Oh, checking to see oh if he's dear. in his arc yep. for the um, the reinforced token. Looks like he's not. Yeah. Two, Two eyeballs. eyeballs. So that's hit, hit, crit. Oh. Jean's low rick. Hit. So that's dead because he only had three health left. Yep. Yeah, this isn't looking so good for Jean. Two two dice attack ships. Looks like Rex is going to shoot somebody. It's one crit. One evade. Mm -hmm. Suppressed fire on low Rick. Well, there's not much to be done here. I mean, I mean uh, yeah, you don't want to call it till it's over, but there are only 15 minutes left, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And these are elimination rounds, so MOV isn't crucial. Um, You're playing to win. Yeah. I mean, all Jeremy has to do here is just make sure his Miranda's you know, not going to get killed by these little two dice attack guys, which is unlikely. Even if she since. does die, I think he still wins on points. Oh, Okay, so, you know, I mean, Jean has to stick on Miranda. There's nothing else to do. 
We can't yeah, kill these other two he's ships. He's fighting a real uphill battle here. They can get away from him. And with just Ezra and Rex throwing their two die attacks. Yeah, I missed that. Yeah, I didn't see that either. Okay. Uncle Baproof shows us the octopus again. <laughs> I love the octopus. Thank you, Uncle Baproofed. Uh Yes, you can now subscribe to VTTV Live's Twitch channel. So go ahead and do that if you haven't already. And jump on their Patreon. Uh, VTTV Live produces some excellent content out of Toronto, not just for X-Wing, but also for L5R. Uh, for Armada. Yeah. Even for Imperial Assault. Surprisingly, people still play that. Oh, that's what he was pointing at. Oh, I see. Cool. All right. Uh, I don't think Jean's the type of dude to cry. <laughs> He's a hard man from Quebec. I mean, if I'm Sean, I'm so happy I've made it to this top eight that he played really well today. And whenever it was, he played to make it into today. Yep. And he made it here with a U-wing. So take he that, did. everyone. He did. So regardless of how this game has turned out, the man has earned style points to last him a lifetime. Fan favorite, for sure. Oh, yeah. So it'll be unfortunate if he doesn't win and we see a Canadian knocked out by an American, but... Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's not so much Americans uh, now as it is Howard's. The Howard's, right. Which, you know, have the same sort of relationship to America as New York City does. It's not really... <laughs> right. Really America. It's its own thing. <laughs> Tw <laughs> the chat is happening so fast there's no way we can respond to you guys we Thanks, are though. chuckling to a lot of these things what are you talking about Zach Matthews <laughs> I have to fake a Canadian accent so there you go yeah I always hear about this Canadian accent but I don't think I have one although people listening might disagree yeah these are our late night radio voices Someone said it was our golf commentary. Yes. <laughs> A fen coming around. Target lock. Do, 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 do. Yeah, like we said, Jeremy doesn't even care if he kills the rest of the squad. He's already won on points at this point. I mean, the odds of killing Miranda with two dice attack ships are... Those are very plinky. Yeah. Might as well drop that bomblet. I mean, once again, that, that position from Ezra uh, by Jean was smart. He's safe from that bomblet, which Miranda has dropped in a showy way. Yeah, she's like, oh, don't Look, forget this bomblets. is here. Remember how this it. did a lot of problems for you? Yeah. Remember these? <laughs> And range Jean's, one. Jean's got himself a nice range one. Oh, wow. And he went and blocked Lorik, too. That's sweet. One hit. One hit on Ezra. Oh, Ezra did he just blink? Triple. Oh. No, no, it was on Rex. So Rex is taking a damage, which means... Oh, so this was the, the TLT. Rex. She yeah. regened a shield. And it means Rex's condition will not stick to Miranda. Yep. Two. Oh, <laughs> she's C-3PO'd. Yeah, so I forgot about C-3PO. <laughs> Definitely no chance um, in heck of getting yeah. damage three on that Miranda. Range three from Rex. Just brawled double crits. Rex. Oh, Rex already shot, I guess. Oh no, there it is. There's one hit. One. 
Mm. She does not get it. Who's She's down to her three hull again. No shields. Now, I believe the Rex token doesn't stick. Right, because she shot at Rex with her TLT. Although that may only count if she if the ship removes it by shooting after Rex has shot at them. Right, because Rex just shot at her again. Yeah. If we had the reference card for uh, suppressive fire, we knew. Want to set a straight internet? I think we're about to see. Ooh. Wow. Well done, Travis. So it should have been removed, and then I guess it would be placed again, no? Okay, so it's on her. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah, I guess having Rex shoot after her works yeah. in that sense. That's good. Oh, this is it's got to be a hard planning phase for Sean. There's still three ships putting so much pressure on him. Mm -hmm. And there's damage on his Ezra and his Rex, so yep. they could be plinked off still. Rex will have to spend his tokens for damage mitigation, almost certainly. Are there any other games streaming right now? Not right now, no. No. We're waiting for that time. Okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. So, with Miranda dead in that very unlikely event, uh, there would be 53 points on Jeremy's side, and there would be 36 on Jean's. So, that's still not close and Rex will go down pretty fast. Yeah. Even if Ezra gets hero dice. Oh. Yep, Star Slinger. It is, but we're still talking. <laughs> well, I know you all want to watch how it plays out, so we're going to talk you through it. Indeed. I don't think we have any super insightful things to say about, oh, yeah, Marina's going to fly away, maybe drop a bomblet and spin a TLT, but... Yeah, I mean, the one thing we might say about the earlier part of the game is when Jean came out, he, uh, he, he took that turn to do a hard two and turned the whole formation. Committed right in for that. He could have banked. Yeah. Um, he... And, uh, you know, that would have been a slower commit for him, but might have served him well. It still, it still would have been a really hard match. Well, Miranda would not have got a harpoon off in the first round. That's true. So Jeremy is just disengaging with Ulrich. He's going to leave it all to Miranda. It's interesting. Uh... Jean has overshot Miranda with Ezra. Um, and he has no token on Rex. He must have bumped into Lorik. Yeah, he did. And uh, so Miranda goes for the two-turn here. Driving right into yeah. Ezra. And that's so Ezra can get in front of Miranda and harass her with his back arc. Right. And not suffer bomb blitz every freaking turn. Yes, that's, that's definitely what you want to do. So Jean is continuing to fly smart here. Um. Unfortunately, in this scenario, the, the suppressed fire token means nothing since Miranda does not have to suppress her fire versus Rex. One crit. Got the evade. She regens a shield. Mm -hmm. Not surprising. One crit. Rex evades. Yep. Wow, I can really <laughs> hear them. One evade. So Rex is down to one hull. Yep. So 
Ezra's got a shot on Lil Rick. Yep. Give him a stress. She'll slow him down a little. Yep. Ooh, hero dice, Ezra. Yeah, <laughs> not bad. Oh. And the reinforce. That takes reinforce, care of it. man. And Rex manages one, which doesn't matter because it's C3PO. Yeah. So four minutes left. I think we're only going to see one more round. Oh, yeah, right. Devin. Miranda has regained a shield. That's such a good ability. It is. I mean, I'm sure we'll see John just keeping on Miranda, see if he can finish her off. Points-wise, nothing else makes sense. Yeah. And even then, Miranda's not enough points. Nope. Is that the actual time remaining? Is that just the stream match? No, it's just the time for everyone. Is okay. it the time for everyone, or is that the time with the bonus you gave to Tim? They're on their own clock. Who? Tim and his match. Okay, groovy. Sorry, folks. Time confusion. All right, so, so we've got a couple more rounds. That yep. actually changes things a little bit. I mean, probably not a lot, but it gives a little more hope for Jean. Yeah, not much. <laughs> there a little it is. bit, a little bit. I mean, as you said, he's had a good show, so nothing to feel bad about there. <laughs> Did you hear that, Internet? <laughs> Somebody just got Timbo sliced. <laughs> That's my favorite part of these top four games is it's so quiet, and then you hear one loud, like, cheer or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Country Riot asks, will we see uh, Duncan next? Uh, it entirely depends upon whether or not Duncan permits himself to be streamed. Yeah, we ask permission before we put anyone on the stream. If they don't want to play on the stream, we don't make them because it can be very, very stressful. Now, the final will be streamed, so boy's got no choice about that. Uh, but uh, We'll see if he's going to make his brother play twice on stream. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's a consequence. Uh, if they're not paired, they could they're be. They're not paired. They're, they're not the paired. Sides. We'll okay. make them fight it out. Who's playing in the other semifinal? That's something we can talk about. Do we know? Two of the games are done already? Um, it's only Duncan's the only one done. Mm-hmm. So Duncan has beaten Who was Duncan Greg? Greg. Greg. Okay. All right. So Duncan has beaten Greg Chandler Greg. Burns. Yeah. He's going down. One of so our Canadians. Right. Uh, Tim. Looks like Tim just lost. Really? So Tim is playing Ben. So Tim is down? I mean, I'm trying to judge from the tone. Oh, okay. Oh, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll wait till we that. have confirmation. We'll, we'll wait for confirmation. Don't want to give false okay. information. Okay. All right. Michael Brzezki has beaten Tom Hayes from Salt Squadron. A couple oh, of boys, Michael. both from uh, Niagara region. Mm -hmm. My hometown down nice. there. What's Michael flying? Michael is flying, I think he was flying Ghost Fen, I oh. think is what I saw. It was either okay. that or a Dash Poe. I always mix him and his dad up. <laughs> uh, the guy with the terrible name asks Actually, what Actually, we have the Duncan's, list in front of us. What is Duncan flying? He's flying Howard Aces. <sighs> right. Michael is flying Dash Poe. Mm -hmm. Make it to the semifinals. Right. Dash Poe. Oh. I just shot. Big shot. Still 
Have we seen any damage dealt here so far? Sorry, I don't think so. Yeah, we were too busy looking at lists. All right, so we've got a hit, two hits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> we're collecting all the lost and found and borrowed cards back here. See Miranda take another stress. I think he's going to run out of tokens up there. Natty evade. So she's sitting still at one shield, same amount of hull. Okay, there's 12 minutes left in Tim's game. Who's Tim playing again? Tim is playing. I'm trying to understand why they shook. Oh, it, it might just have been a celebratory, that was a well-played buddy shake. Like, sorry that just happened to you, that was really lucky dice, probably. Yeah. So he's playing, Tim is playing... Ben Bagnell. Okay, I'm not sure what he's playing. I could tell you in a second. Oh, right, he's the uh, Kylo and Two Boats list. Yes, that is correct. All right. It's a tough matchup for Tim's girls, but... He's got some experience against it. So we have, unfortunately, Ezra has to disengage this round on account of the board edge. <laughs> that pesky board edge. Who knew space had a clear line ending? If only your stress she's the peed could fly forever. Isn't that like the slogan of the Hells Angels? <laughs> no. I don't think so. It's like live fast, die young. <laughs> the close. That though. works too. All right, Fen is on top of Rex. Lorik is taking a two turn to go get Ezra. And we have two minutes and a half left in this game. Again. Again. <laughs> We're right back where we, we were. It's a time loop. Had a little Let's bit of confusion do at the start. The time loop again. <laughs> we take a step to the left. Mm -hmm. Discussion. We can't see what's happening. We've got a screen, Travis. Sorry. No worries. <laughs> All right. Two eyeballs. Some more blankety blanks. Rex lives. Octopus. All right, so we're Looks all done and we're here. back to dials. Oh, I no, think Miranda's, Miranda's considering taking her shot at Rex. She's going to blow a shield oh. try to end the game. Get, get those points. Well, again, the points don't matter. Get that ship off the board. Yep. And that's, Rex That's one. Dying. That should be enough. So we got a strict, stressed Rex looking oh. down a corner. Right. No way he can get back on Miranda in the remaining minute. Ezra cannot get on anybody usefully. Uh, Jeremy's low rick is the pitcher of health. This will be the last round this time. I'm not lying this time. <laughs> And those Ozituck dials got rode off real quick. They like, I got mine, and it just frayed within a week. Really? Lower quality printer, I guess. I guess so, but you know, other stuff in the same wave is holding up. Something I noticed was when I got the Ghost when it was new, I actually have two Ghosts. Anyway, both of those dials were both super, super loose. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I got uh, some of the curled paw. I have a curled paw uh, dial cover for my uh, ghost because, yeah, I was just swinging around. Yeah. I'd be like, you know, I do a three bank. And oh, it's not no, a I guess three I'm bank. doing a K turn. <laughs> you think we're going to see anything blow off the board this round? It's likely that Rex will go down. Yeah. TLT fires. Pretty consistent. No need for Miranda to regen, so. Uh, Looks like Fen will have arc. That looks, looks like in. 
Go for the kill up there. Mm hmm. So that's that's a lot of dice being thrown at Rex. He's got one haul remaining. He'll likely buy it. Ezra will probably be fine. Although this is the exact situation in which I lost my Ezra <laughs> uh, in my last game. Oh yeah, that came right down to time and the dice. Yep. Oh, and a major explosion. And a major explosion. Going against me. Two hits. Two hits. Got I two blanks. See a couple of blanks. Spends that to live. And now one hit. Miranda. And that's Rex. Rex, Rex is, is toast. And All right. That's game. And Jeremy Howard has beat Jean.